Collectibles bringing you another review today. Today we have the WWE Crash Cage. I picked this up at Target on clearance for a little over $10. So I couldn't pass it up. In fact, I was pretty happy with the purchase. This comes with a ring and accessories to allow a cage to be hoisted above the ring. It's said to be 24 inches tall. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. On the back, you see a few elite figures in play. You can see that there are some launchers on the sides there. And Roman Reigns looking some really, really strong. So let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at all the items that we have. If you're looking to pick this up, there is a website called BrickSeek that you can search Target's GPCI number and see if you can find it. So, oops. Oops. Alright, so here it is outside the box. Nothing's assembled, of course. I didn't think it would be. So that means I'll have to assemble this. So let's cue some really cool techno music and get this thing started. Alright, so there we go. This is the ring. This is what it looks like uh, from figure angle view. We have some nice stickers here. I'm not a real big stickers guy. I don't like putting stickers on my rings or any of the accessories where they're supposed to be stickers. Of course, kids will like them, so that's a real good plus there. Let me get my camera and just uh, <clears throat> let me get my camera and just move it around for you guys so you guys can see what it looks like. I definitely do not have a big enough workspace to review rings, so please bear with me. You see two launchers on the side there. You see the cage. The cage is pretty cool. There's a little mechanism at the top. If you shoot a figure just right and it hits that mechanism, the cage just comes crashing down. Although the cage is pretty sturdy all in itself, so even if it falls down, it's not going to break into a bunch of pieces, which is pretty cool. At the bottom, there's a little, it, the bottom slides out, so you can pull that out, and whatever figure is up top, you can just let it fall 
without having to open the cage. One thing to note is the the gurney, gurney, the uh, the spindle over there is kind of sensitive. If is kind of sensitive, so when you're spinning it back or winding it back up, it may not go up. And when you bring it down, and it might fall down, and you might not intend it to fall down. So definitely need some work there. But I do like this ring. These are newer style rings. That I like they have peg holes on the ring corners. I think that's pretty smart because I always like to display figures, maybe from jumping off the side of the ring or or doing a dynamic pose like towards the audience or something like that. So I I like this ring overall. And I like the fun factor. Of course this ring was created and then right of course this ring was created and now we're getting a match at the Royal Rumble with Chris Jericho being put into a cage. So coincidental timing, I don't know, you be the judge. But Chris Jericho is going to be inside the cage. Roman Reigns and Kevin Owens are going to be fighting for the Universal Championship. So what better thing to do than reenact what will happen at the Royal Rumble? Or this is my prediction anyways. Jericho will be hoisted into that cage. So Kevin Owens came into the ring, he started talking trash to Roman Reigns, telling him how he's the best Universal Champion there is, and the longest reigning Universal Champion, and nobody's going to take his title. And Roman's like, oh, I'm going to take your title with the Superman punch. And Kevin Owens just said, no, you're not. If you're going to take my title, it has to be done with a spear. Get it, guys? He's going to win with a spear. And... Roman Reigns is like, okay, I'll do that instead because I want to win that championship belt. And he spears him, and then he sits on him, and he gets the one, and then two, and then Kevin Owens kicks out, and it actually makes Roman Reigns slice to the rope. Then Kevin Owens gets his belt, hits Roman Reigns out of the ring for the three count. Roman Reigns gets so angry that he gets on top of this launcher over here because they're gonna have launchers on the ring. And he does his best to fly like Superman would fly. Here comes the Roman fly. Oh, and he launched himself right into the cage and hurt himself. Okay, so that's my ring review for the WWE Crush Cage. I highly recommend it to all and anybody that collects rings or just needs a new ring in general. The ring posts are really nice. The cage accessory is pretty cool. There's a lot of fun factor you can have here. I wouldn't really recommend it for collectors per se to keep as a collection piece. This is more of a novelty toy for children. As you can see, obviously, it's meant for play. So if you like it and you think you're going to use it, you'll definitely get your $10 out of it. If you don't like it, then you know it's an easy pass. All right, so let's wrap this up. This is Andrew for Nerdy Collectibles, and if you like this video, please give me a double drop on that like button, share this video with your friends, and leave a message in the comments section. Also, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I upload new reviews. Nerdy Collectibles, Nerdy Collectibles, Nerdy. Come back to the